Here's Bud Callis. What is that? <laughs> Boris, we've met here before under happier circumstances, yeah. I suppose. You won the first set. How did he get away from you? I think he had a very important point when I had three all and break point. And uh, I missed the chance. And from then on, you know, we were very, very close in the tiebreaker. He had those two shots where he just went for it in the way and in. And I think from then on, I uh, was a little bit uh, not uh, concentrating Nervous? well. No, no, not, not just pumping up enough in the beginning of the third set and then he broke me in from then on he was playing under uh, with a lot of uh, con confidence and uh, i was playing uh, worse and worse could you feel it slipping away from you i thought that the second set uh, was very important and when i lost that i said oh my god what's happening now and what was happening well i think first of all he uh, really played uh, better passing shots than me. I had a lot of problems with my backhand, especially in the passing shots. And and when uh, you don't make him, then it's difficult to break. Okay, you were serving very well to his forehand in the early stages. Then it seemed to pick up. Did you get that feeling that everything was working for him? Yeah, you know, once you are you're in that stage, you know, you are, you're winning the second set, you're behind, and then you're up a break, and then you sort of ride on emotions. And uh, I know what's like then. Well, you beat the champion. You beat the number one player in the world. You didn't win this one. enough. I, I think enough. we'll see you again, Boris. Yeah. Becker. Thank you. Thank you. And here he is, the champion. Of course, London will claim him now. He's from Kensington. Congratulations, Thank Stefan. You. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's very hard for, for me to believe that I really won Wimbledon, and uh, it's a fantastic feeling right now. Um, after all the rain we've had and all the waiting we've been How hard through. was that? Oh, it's been very, very hard. Um, uh, we, we haven't been able to eat properly or you just have to rest and wait for it and they tell you to play and then it rains so it's it's been very hard for us stefan a few feet away from here you were down two sets to milos made yeah. cheers that was all over then wasn't it what yeah. happened to you uh, i don't know it's hard to say but uh, when i look back i mean i i just stayed in the match i, I fought very well and uh, i was very very close to lose that match so i think i gained a lot of confidence by winning that match now you're down a set in this match. Yeah. Have you, are you aware people have said this guy is not a very good competitor? Yeah, he hits the ball well, but not a very easy, he gets down. Have you been aware of those I things? Think, I think they got it wrong, all, all of them. And uh, that makes me feel very good. And because there is a lot of fighting spirit inside of me. Maybe you can't tell, but it's in there. And it's been, uh, it's been very nice to prove that to a lot of people and to myself, of course. He was killing you, serving to your forehand. How did you straighten out your forehand? Uh, I think the, the difference came uh, when I won the second set. Then I, then I knew I was back in the match, and I started to move a lot better, and I, I started really to concentrate on the ball as hard as I could, and, uh, and the ball get bigger and bigger. I mean, I felt like I couldn't miss it at times, and that's a great feeling when you play like that. You're famous now. Are you upset about that? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. Here is the chance. Champion, Stefan Edberg, congratulations. Thank you. Well played, Dick. Thank you, bud. We'll look forward to his return.